Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here and today we're taking a look at the Amazon exclusive Doom and Destruction collection for Transformers Legacy United. This of course on the left is Ruckus and on the right is Bludgeon. Uh, this is a comic version of Bludgeon. I'm not really a Bludgeon fan so I was like, yeah, okay fine because I wanted Ruckus. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Anyway, before we take a look at the figures, uh, it did come with instructions. And, of course, don't hurt yourself papers. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And taking a look at the box, um, the standard uh, series box, Doom and Destruction Collection. And uh, here is Bludgeon on the side. Here are them and their conversions. Um, and the squid tentacles for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then, of course, Ruckus on the other side. Nothing fancy else going around. And uh, we bring the fingers in, and we'll take a closer look. I have attached all of their weapons to them, so you're seeing everything that they have on them. And, uh, of course, uh, Ruckus here is a Beachcomber remold, and uh, Bludgeon is a Tarn remold. So that is pretty, pretty nifty looking. Uh, I'm going to cite here with... Um, Bludgeon, some mold degradation. This is like the fourth, fifth version of this mold. Uh, he is loose. So, you know, do with that information what you will. But uh, we're going to start with this deluxe class figure. Ruckus is, and you should be able to tell with the weapon here, Beachcomber inspired. Uh, he is, I think, the final one of the uh, Trigger Cons, because he has guns here. Um, and uh, they're, they're neat. They get lock in down here you don't have to keep them out you can also hold them because there are small pegs on them and i will show you real quick uh they are attached like this and uh they do go into his hands so we will put these back so i don't lose them and uh here we go they just snap on like this and in the back, and then we take this off of his hand, and uh, see if I remember how to convert this form. I'm kind of wondering, because I did not look at the instructions, so I'm kind of wondering how uh, certain things work with the um, guns just sitting there. Because, I mean, obviously Beachcomber didn't... I mean, he came with the, the front piece gun, but he didn't really come with other things other than a parrot. So it's like, um, what are we expecting out of it? Anyway, you fold the feet or the heels forward, and, I mean, you basically already see the, what the front end is going to be. And this, of course, is the back. And um, it's like his head doesn't go anywhere, does it? There's no opening cavity. There's no moving back forth. Uh, his head is super tight on whatever peg it's on. Um, so that's interesting in its own. And uh, I, I guess it's just a matter of folding him in half and uh, hoping for the best. Um, there's a panel here. Let's open the panel back on both of them. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like that's pretty much it. And then his arms fill in the gap, which straighten those up. And, uh, his, yeah, his arms fill into the side here. Let's see, can we lock this together? There we go, close up these doors. And, yeah, it really just fills it in. Uh, taps this here. The arm's in place. Like the guns are in the way or they're not they're not but i'm gonna move them a little bit out of the way i don't like the uh wheels being the support here on the, the bits here we go fold this into place i guess we can always turn the head around this is probably as close as we're going to get here, but the guns clearly pop out like this. And then this piece you can stick in here. Oh, is it, is it, does it this way? Oh, okay, so it goes in like that. Okay, yeah, that, that actually works. And then pull these up. Have them like this. Huh. Let's see how it rolls. Eh, it rolls fine. But this piece not being in all the way is causing a little bit of problem. But, I mean, otherwise, 
it's fine. I feel like there should have been something back here to help grab these, but I mean, it works nonetheless. Yeah, so here, yeah, we'll stick him aside and we will get to bludgeon. Uh, of course, he comes with a sword. It was just his original bludgeon mold sword, so obviously it is his sword. Uh, this is super loose. I don't remember the uh, tarns being that loose, but it's super loose. And um, it comes apart. When you get it, it is like separate pieces. Uh, so yeah, I just keep it together so I don't lose them. And then, you know, not identical. So uh, then he has these back here that are attached to him and uh, they'll flip around during conversion. And uh, let's just get to that, and we'll pull this off. Uh, his head will go back, and we will start shifting the arms. And the arms do a weird angle thing. And, uh, oh, come on. There we go. And then do that on the other side. And we're going to this around come on close this here so we do this move this around oops close this here so we can do this and then we want to pull out the shoulders come on because there are like little locks I want to say locks but that's not really what they are it just slides and uh, that way you can, oops, not do that. There we go. And then it'll allow you to flip them around. Like this. And then if this pops off, luckily you can just put it back on. And uh, there's little latches in here. I have actually never had the front end pop off before, so that's that's definitely new. But as you see, it, it goes back perfectly fine. Okay, so anyway, uh, we have this flipped, and we need to turn this around. Uh, what's going to happen is that the feet are going to connect to the back piece here. And make sure we have that in place. We can lock these cannons in, and now we kind of have to like scorpion up the foot and um, straighten them out. And uh, if you're wondering what scorpion up means, you'll see in a sec. Uh, we are going to like super bend the legs to the point that they are clearly double jointed. Now these pieces are super loose, which is very annoying. But uh, we get it flat like this, and then these should, in theory, fit oh, until they're straight. And they're not going to fit anywhere. Because you can see these pieces are connecting. And there you go. Got one. Got two. You can change the hands if you want. And the hands do have bendy fingers. Uh, some people flip them sideways. I don't care. But uh, once you get it, it looks like this. And then you can put the cannon on. The cannon has these little pieces here that slide in to the top here. So maybe everything's correctly placed. And here we go. And then the sword, you can pretty much mount anywhere there's a peg. And here is what you end up getting. You can also put it up here if you want to, but uh, it's fine. Uh, there's no wheels. It's like a hover tank, basically. Although if it was flat, it would look better. I'm not... Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. That's much better. Much, much better. A little fidgeting. But uh, yeah, that is that is it, and I, I think that is the entire set now. So I think I'm done collecting these guys. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them, and how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.